Welcome my dear learners for this course on engineering graphics. In this module 4 we were discussing on development of lateral surfaces of solids. So far we have solved 7 problems. Moving ahead the problem number 8 of our discussion states that a frustum of a square pyramid has its base 40 mm sides, top 16 mm sides and height 60 mm. Its axis is vertical and a side of its base is parallel to VP. Draw the projection of the frustum and show the development of the lateral surface of it. We have a frustum of square pyramid. If people already learnt the difference between truncation and frustum. If the cutting plane is inclined at certain angle to the base or to horizontal plane, then we then the section what we obtain is termed as truncation. If the cutting plane is parallel to the base, then the section what we obtain is termed as frustum. Here is clearly setting we have a frustum of a square pyramid. So therefore, here the cutting plane is parallel to horizontal plane at a height of 60 mm. Since it is a square pyramid, at the bottom also we will get a square, at the top of top also we will get a square whose dimension is 40 mm at the base and 60 mm at the top. Now how to draw the top view of the square, whether I should draw it in the, in the form of a rhombus or I should draw it as a regular square is the question. If I draw a regular square, then I will get two of its sides parallel to VP and two of its sides perpendicular to VP. If I draw in the type of a rhombus, I will get all the sides are equally inclined to VP. Here he states that one of the base is parallel to VP, so therefore I should draw it as a normal square, right? Come let's, let us draw the front and top view of the given problem first. If I draw the front and top view of the given problem for a solid resting on HP, always draw top view first and from top view extract the front view. Keep this in mind. So we have XY line, we have vertical plane we have horizontal plane, we have two squares, at the bottom the square dimension is 40, correct, at the top the square dimension is 16, so therefore lay down two square, that is at the bottom we have square dimension as 40, square dimension as 40, draw the square done now from the center I have one more square from the top whose dimension is 16 right so I want 16 16 means 8 on either side correct measure 8 on either side So 8 on either side, I will get 16, from the same center I should I should get the same center for the inner surface also, keep that in mind. So therefore I have taken a reference, I took 8, 8 on either side, I will get 16, now I will complete the sketch. If I take one side that is enough, since I have diagonal that will help us to complete the sketch. Now if I cut I will get the top view, this is the top view, which I am darking is the top view which I will get. The center portion will be removed. Done. Now I will keep marking as A, B, C and D. At the top let me call it as A1, B1, C1, D1. Show the dimension. This dimension is square of 16 mm this is a square of 16 mm and 
at bottom we have a square of 40 mm square of dimension 40 mm this dimension is 40 mm square done later on the top view now extract the front view from this you know the axis height the overall pyramid dimension is not specified the frustum height is given frustum height is 60 mm so therefore the inner surface you draw to the height of 60 mm 60 mm drawn from there you connect like this from there you connect like this so this height is given for us this height is specified as This height here specified as 60, 60. Done. So the inner surface I extended to 60 and then connected. Now you lay down the axis to the arbitrary height. Since axis length is not specified for us, lay down the axis for the arbitrary height. and extend this to intersect the axis extend these two sides to intersect the axis so these two sides will intersect the axis these two sides will intersect the axis what he has specified is this one right is given only this much but we have extended it to get the perfect square pyramid by extending these sides which will intersect the arbitrarily drawn axis this is O O1 this is O dash and this is O1 dash here we have A a dash d dash here we have b dash c dash at the top we have a1 dash d1 dash here we have b1 dash c1 dash now if you observe none of the slant edge is parallel to vp correct how many slant edges we have we have four slant edges a o b o c o and d o if you observe a dash o dash b dash o dash c dash o dash and d dash o dash in the top view none of them is parallel to vp so therefore none of them are giving us the true dimension so to obtain the true dimension first i should make one of the slant edge as parallel and then take the projection that will gives us the true dimension let me do that that is Keeping it O, you make this as parallel. So I made it parallel. Now take the projection. Take on the projection. Let me call this as b1 and this will become b1 dash that is here we have b dash c dash we will call this as b1 dash now take the projection from b1 dash to o dash b1 dash to o dash drawn I have taken the projection from b1 dash to o dash 
and measure this length so if I measure I am getting this dimension as if I measure I am getting this dimension as 104 millimeters I am getting the slant true slant its dimension is 104 millimeters now transfer these points we have frustum so therefore just to transfer like this just to transfer that is enough now on the true slant edge, this dimension is turning out to be 42 millimeters 42 millimeters so this completes the front and top view as well as the cutting plane what we have which is parallel to HP at a height of 60 mm we got the frustum the top portion will be removed and the bottom portion will be retained come let us draw the development of this for which i should draw a arc of radius 104 mm let me draw that let me draw the arc of radius 104 mm from a point let us say i have a point here so draw an arc for arbitrary angle the angle is unknown for us first you draw an arc for arbitrary angle drawn now if i cut it and unfold i will get four triangles the base side is 40 at the bottom so therefore measure 40 cut it and unfolding i will get four faces base side is 40 for this pyramid so one two three and four done <coughs> now connect these things so connect from center to this one from here to here that is connect from O to A, B, C, D and finally to A connect all these points we have connection from O to A B, C, D and A and this dimension is nothing but 104 millimeters which is given as 104 mm and we have a frustum at a distance of 42 so we have a frustum at a distance of 42 mark it and cut it at a distance of you have one more swing just you have one more swing like this and this length is turning out to be 42 so this completes the frustum but for pyramid we don't have surface we have sharp edges so therefore connect A to B B to C C to D and D to A and here also you connect these things as sharp edges like this connect them properly like this connected now you join sharp longer edges So this is how you should draw. So these are sharp edges like this. This gives us the frustum of square pyramid. This is the development. This is the development. At 42, just if you cut an arc also, you will get the same thing. I taken the curve for arbitrary angle which is fixed between OA and OA otherwise for 42 you can transfer cut at each slant edges and connect 
the sharp edge both are both are also give the same answer same solution this is how we should draw frustum of any given pyramid this is the solution for problem number 8 that's all from this lecture thank you all